Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. Again in my very colorful background over here. Sorry boys, I had no time to redecorate. Probably uh, I'll do it before New Year um, if I have the time. Uh, before we start this video, I'd like to say a big thank you to Rolf, um, a Delta Oscar 7, Romeo, uh, Romeo Sierra Bravo. Uh, he sent me a beautiful letter over here um, and uh, a package with a couple of goodies and I'd like to say a big thank you. Uh, he was born in Romania but he, he lives in Germany um, after 1989 and uh, um, I, I really liked his uh, emails and, uh, and the um, the package is very helpful because if you know I always had problems uh, measure me, measuring the harmonics on the uh, output of the transmitters and the transceivers uh, because I had no um, tiny SA and he sent me one and also another big issue that I had was that I could not measure a small value inductors and he sent me an LC meter kit that I will put together in some video and we'll talk more about Rolf in that video um, but uh, yeah I'll, I'll be able to, to measure a small value inductors as well and it's a great help for me because um, at this point I have to invest a lot of money in photography equipment and, um, and I cannot spend much on, uh, on the amateur radio hobby unfortunately. So um, yeah this was a very very good help uh, <laughs> especially because in the, in the past two years I, I work I spend a lot of time uh, doing a lot of things for the channel for YouTube and the blog and uh, kind of like uh, spending a lot of time doing this I spent less and less time doing photography and that's supposed to be my business and it turned out to be a hobby that I do when I have the time and the main thing it's it was the X Explorer and uh, it has to turn a little bit because uh, <laughs> you know uh, we also have to pay bills um, in the today's video we're going to talk about a mini whip antenna uh, you can see the schematic on the screen right now um, it's a, an antenna designed by uh, Papa Alpha Zero Romeo Delta Tango and uh, my friend Hendrik sent me the schematic for this antenna uh, probably last year or two years ago I can't remember but I always wanted to build it uh, in my older location and uh, hide it somewhere in the attic but unfortunately I had no time and right now I found the perfect occasion and the perfect place to install this antenna. Uh, but this morning I had to send Hendrik a, a message to send me again the schematic because I, I couldn't find it anymore and he did. Uh, but uh, after that I also realized that my friend Andre, the Yankee Oscar 6 Tango Julia Juliet also wrote an article in the radio magazine that we publish monthly about the mini whip in the in the very first number of the magazine so now I have a lot of information on this antenna and hopefully it will turn out uh, pretty good um, again going going on the screen on the schematic uh, you'll see that uh, there's uh, a, a J310 uh, a JFET transistor I did not have that one so instead I found the uh, 2N5458 uh, this is the replacement that I have for the any schematic that is using a G310 or an MPF102. Um, also, I did not have the 2N5109 and I'm using a, a BFW16A. Um, it's a similar transistor in characteristics, so I hope it will work. Also, there's a four, um, 516 nanofarads capacitor, which I did not have. Uh, instead I have a 100 nanofarad capacitors and I realized that in the schematic that uh, Hendrik sent me uh, there's also 100 nanofarad capacitors so hopefully it will still work. Um, I will build this prototype on a small uh, PCB board uh, Manhattan style. Uh, we're going to take a closer look in just a little bit and that's it. Um, that's all I'm going to do in this video. I'm just going to build the antenna side, uh, the, the active antenna basically and uh, uh, we're not going to do any testing uh, because I still have to buy the PVC pipe and the connectors and everything I need to put it in an enclosure and after that in the next video uh, probably I'm going to show you the finished uh, active antenna part and we're going to build the, um, the accessory for the power supply that uh, the thingy that will 
um, give us power through the coaxial cable to the mini whip antenna and uh, we'll also do some tests in part two of the video um, next time i guess uh, in september sometime at the beginning of the month uh, we'll do a test over here and after that i'm going to take this antenna and install it in the choclovina scout center where i've been recently and it's a beautiful beautiful place I'll, I'll try to put some images in the background for you to to see um, how's the place over there i also wrote an article on my photography blog if you want to go have a look and i have a couple of images over there and uh yeah, if you ever visit Romania and you'd like to, to uh, see some beautiful places and a nice cave and uh, a bunch of other things, um, you're more than free to go visit my friend German over there. Um, and uh, yeah, we decided to build a radio room. I, uh, I was asked by a foundation if I can go install an antenna and a transceiver for German. And I did that uh, just a little while ago. And... Um, um, probably if you if you uh, follow me on Instagram, you will see that I posted some picture with a Yaetsu that I installed over there, and I also installed um, an 8010 uh, NFED half wave, the shortened version. But uh, we take that down always, and we always uh, spread it out, and we use it when there's an um, an authorized, uh, a licensed amateur radio operator over there. Um, other than that, we take it down just also for safety reasons because it's kind of high altitude and we don't want uh, thunders and uh, and uh, electrical discharges into the antenna so uh, it's just for safety we hide it somewhere in the attic but because the place it's uh, in uh, built and kept in a very uh, romanian traditional style i like to keep it that way so i wanted to install a receive antenna and um, uh, hide it somewhere in the attic so uh, nobody will be able to see it but um, we'll be able to listen uh, to uh, one of the radios that I have here from my friend Raul and uh, I'll take it up there and uh, uh, people there or kids or anybody who is visiting and is interested in uh, amateur radio and they, they don't have a license and they would like to still listen to some amateur radio operators um, on air uh, they will be able to do that using the receiver and this mini whip antenna so that's the reason why I would like to, to build this antenna and uh, I'm going to try to finish the entire project before September 15 when I'm going to go back to Choclovina and install it and work with my friend German at the radio room. But of course I'm not going to start uh, the video on this, uh, on this project without saying thank you to my friends at PCB Away for sponsoring this video and always supporting the DX Explorer channel. Please remember they have uh, amazing PCB prototyping services, CNC, 3D printing, SMD stencils um, and a lot more um, services uh, available for you. Remember that uh, all the projects, the PCB projects that I'm posting at least, um, you can either order the PCB board by itself or you can order the assembled version of each circuit. Uh, please always remember to uh, read the description in the project. Um, uh, some of them don't contain all the components or uh, for example some of the inductors because I was asked by somebody some of the inductors um, are not wanted and you have to do it yourself and uh, um, yeah um, they are very very amazing. Um, check the link in the video description you get uh, a discount if you did not register for an account yet and you'll register for an account now you'll get a discount for your first order as i'm always saying pcb way is the way so uh, these are all the components required to build the mini whip antenna um, as you could tell from the schematic that i had earlier on the screen uh, probably if you know the original schematic uh, you will notice that uh, in the original schematic there's no 10 micro henry inductor uh, I'm not sure why, but in the newer schematics that I found comparing to the original one, I found this 10 microhenry inductor between the gate of the JFET and the pad. So I, I will use this one as well. And I also have this uh, LED um, into the circuit, which will probably help me uh, to see if I have power going up into the, the mini whip itself. Um, and uh, this way I don't have to climb in the attic all the time. Uh, in case I want to check if there's power going up and I have any issues or bad reception or anything like that. 
so at least I know there's power up in the mini whip and uh, there will be another LED uh, indicator uh, that will show me that I have power up into the power thingy uh, that will supply the, the, the power to the mini whip itself so um, yeah that's it it's just a few components uh, just a handful of components and uh, <laughs> Um, if if it will work as good as um, I think it will, uh, you you might be surprised uh, what results you can get with this mini whip antenna. So uh, anyway, let's just put it together. And while I'm going to put it together, I'm also going to give you a couple of tips that uh, I also found out, and hopefully uh, <laughs> uh, it, it will work. And uh, this will help us get a better results um, building this antenna the proper way. Well, first I'd like to excuse the mess on my table, but I'm kind of rushing. I'm trying to finish this project on time. Uh, so yeah, the first rule, I, I took a little advance and I already soldered a couple of the components, uh, pretty much the JFET part and um, the resistors and the capacitor. And uh, now all I have to do is the NPN transistor and a couple of other more components and the uh, output for the for the antenna connector and I should be done but the idea is that uh, try to build it as neat as possible and uh, keep the connections uh, the, the leads of the components as short as possible and uh, this should uh, give you a, a good result at the end and uh, hopefully it will work even with the modifications that I made uh, with the components that I didn't have and I had to replace we'll see uh, anyway, let me continue soldering over here and uh, I should be done in quite a little bit. So, finally done for today. Uh, last uh, bit of soldering. And uh, here we are with the finished project. Um, it turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm happy. I tried keeping it as neat as possible. And again, I tried keeping the leads of the components as short as possible. So... Um, Hopefully that even if I had to make modifications to the values of the components and I use different transistors, um, it will still work. Now uh, all I have left is the resistor for the LED and the LED itself. I'm going to solder the resistor on one of the legs of the LED, on the positive one. And uh, uh, run two wires um, the positive will go basically the the other end of the resistor will will uh, go over here on the PCB board and the negative uh, to the ground and over here I'm going to have the center pin of the BNC and the ground over here and uh, that's it the power will, will run and um, uh, power up this circuit through the coax cable and again we will have the signal coming out of this um, uh, active um, mini whip antenna uh, through the coax cable going to the receiver but we'll talk more about the theory of this in the second part of the video uh, I know you're eager to test it I'm also <laughs> the same um, I basically I don't have patience but tomorrow is Sunday so uh, I need a couple of more components to to finish this project and uh, I need some PVC pipe and a BNC connector because I run out of this and um, yeah uh, just be a little patient i'll be back in a day or two and we're going to continue this project and finish it and uh, do a couple of tests and then of course i'm very very excited to take it up to choclovina choclovina scout camp install it and uh, uh, this way i'll be able to listen to some amateur radio stations uh, while i'm there as well so anyway thanks so much for watching i'll uh, see you in uh, in a day or two until then have an amazing weekend and 73 from Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo.